Okay, today I'm going to show you something that uh, we've been playing with while in lockdown. A little handy device for helping with uh, mooring. <laughs> So today we're hoping to um, build a little dock hand, um, something to help with docking when you're at a marina, to save someone having to jump off with a rope and tie it on. If a little, a little device that you put on your boat hook and when you loop it over, it will pull off. Nice and handy. I've seen them online. And they're about 70 quid, I think, for a set of two, which isn't uh, isn't cheap for a little device that you just attach to your boat hook. So I decided I'd try and make one, and uh, this is what I came up with. So this is the design I came up with: uh, two weapon pipes or two pipes, one 20 mil, the other one 40 mil in length. This one here is 40 centimeters and this little one is six centimeters in length attached together with some cable ties and um, it sits nice and neat onto the boat hook like so and when a little pressure comes on it clips off nice and handy so, first off, we're going to cut the 20mm pipe, find a little to 40 centimeters. Okay. <coughs> Just sand off the edges. make it nice and neat so you're not going to catch on any ropes or cause any wear and tear. Okay, and the same on the other end. So that's one. All this has to be is a little larger in diameter than the rope you intend to put through it. Okay, I wouldn't be using this system or this device to more full-time this is just a way of cut a pontoon or a cleat to grab it and neatly hold it so that it gives you time to get off the boat under control now for our second piece six centimeters And again, just sand down the edges. Okay. Now we're going to make a slit down the middle, or down one edge. Neat. The second one has to be wide enough to allow your boat hook through, but not allow your boat hook fall out. I'll show you. As you can tell, it allows the boat hook through, but it's tight enough that it won't let it slip, that it won't fall off without very little effort. Okay, for me and my boat hook that was about an 18 millimeter gap. If your boat hook is wider it might need to be wider, if your boat hook is narrower it might need to be narrower. So 
We're going to make it around 18 mil wide. Next step is to make the holes for the cable ties that we're going to use to attach the two pipes together. Just Because I'm using three cable ties, I'm putting six holes along the bottom. And then correspondingly, I'm going to mark the 20 mil pipe. As you can see, the holes all line up nice and neat. This is the fun part, trying to get the cable ties to loop through. Okay, so again, bend it in half, push it in, and it should, if it works, Pull through a little tight, but pulls through like so, and back through the hole. Okay, as you can see. Going through and out. Okay, now to do that twice more. And now we're just going to pull all them tight. By pushing in one to make it loose into the pipe and pulling out in a second. Okay, and as you can see in there, they're nice and neat. Next step is to close up the cable ties themselves, then clip off the ends. Okay, and then you have your dock hand. Okay, run your line through, then create a loop and just tie your bowling. Okay. And then you can attach
Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more from Fairweather Sailors, please like, subscribe, follow, and we'll bring you more content from across our season. Sorry about the noise, there's uh, something cutting the silage behind me.